Hello everyone. This question is from GATE 2019 Mechanical Engineering Type 1. This is question number 4. The sum and the product of two integers are 26 and 165 respectively. The difference between these two integers is blank. This is a simple question and to answer this question, we will need to use some basic algebra. This is the useful data for the question. We will use algebraic expansion identities. The first identity is the square of the sum of any two real numbers a plus b whole square will be equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And the square of the difference of any two real number a minus b whole square will be equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now let us get back to the question. Let us assume that these two integers are a and b. We have been given that the sum of these two is 26. So we know that a plus b is equals to 26. It is also given that the product of these two is 165. Therefore, we know that a times b is equal to 165. And what we are supposed to find is the difference between these two integers. Now, since we don't know which one of them is the bigger one, we can write the difference as follows a minus b in the symbol of mode. That is something that we need to find. To do this, let us use the expansion identities. We know that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now in the right hand side of this equation, we know the value of ab. Therefore, we know the value of this meta term. However, we don't know the value of a square and b square. If we know the value of a square and b square somehow, then we can put in the values of all these terms on the right hand side and find the value of a minus b full square. After doing that, if we take a square root on both sides, we will get on the left hand side mod a minus b and the value on the right hand side will be the value of mod a minus b. Now, to find the value of a square plus b square, we use the first expansion identity. That was a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, if you look at this expression, we know the value of a plus b. Therefore, we also know the value of a plus b whole square. We don't know the value of a square plus b square and we know the value of 2a. So, let us put this a square plus b square term on one side. That will give a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2a. So the value of a square plus b square is equal to this. Let us substitute this into our original equation. That was the second expansion identity a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we can write a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab is rearranging terms on the previous expression and now let us substitute the value of a square plus b square from here if we do that we will get a minus b whole square equals to a plus b whole square minus 2ab and again minus 2ab which was already there this two two ab's will make the right hand side equal to a plus b 
point square minus four times a b which will be equal to a minus b whole square now on the right hand side we have the terms for which the values are known so let us just substitute the values here that will give a minus b whole square equals to 26 square as a plus b is 26 minus 4 times 165 that will be equal to 26 square is 676 and 4 times 165 is 660 therefore a minus b whole square is equals to 60. Now taking a square root on both sides and taking mod, we will get mod a minus b will be equal to 4. So the right answer for this question will be option c 4. The difference between these two integers will be 4.